It's too late. All right, Mr. No Dinner, get the hell out of my way. Breakfast. I really wish I could knock you guys out. Go on, get. Damn it. Don't have many of these. You don't say. Show yourself, you coward. Shit. I think this is going to solve anything. Nobody's here. Go away. Better wake everybody else up. Do you really want to do that? It'll go a lot better for you if you just surrender Why now. Don't you just come out? Ah, damn it. Okay. Ah, that's what it was. I was jumping down too quickly, that's all it was. Better? Someone else is going to have to do it. Okay. What's that? Damn it. <sighs> Nothing made that sound. Everything is fine. I think I'm good. Time to ransack this place. All right. This should be good in here. There's a skull. Everybody likes a skull. And open. There we go. That is an expensive skull. I don't think I can get any paintings. I, I've walked close to some of them. All right, that's what I thought. What's in the desk? Experiment note number three. We're missing number two. I feel very uneasy about the results. If they affect the painting in such a manner, could they be affecting me? I need to consider ways to further study them safely. But how? Hire a volunteer to read them while I'm under observation? Highly unethical. I cannot put others in harm's way because of this. Perhaps I should just burn them and be done with this. But I can't. I've seen too much trouble to get this far. Could they be affecting me? What mysteries do they contain? I... That was smart. I jumped instead of closing the damn thing. Knighton's letter. I don't think anybody comes in here, but I'm... So people come in here. Shit. There's an intruder here! Thank you for making my point! Um... This book says Skull Consortium. Let's read this one, shall we? The Skull Consortium, compiled by Captain Knighton of the Bridgeport City Watch. The Skull Consortium is a relatively recent expansion of the Bridgeport underworld. It was this as a new kind of threat to the law-abiding citizens of Bridgeport. The criminal activity is strategically organized towards unknown goals. According to our inquiries, the Skull Consortium is a crime organization which has combined several small gangs together under a single banner. The gangs are the operational level of the consortium, they collect the protection, money, smuggling, extort, steal, murder, and commit other crimes. The higher level members are out of reach of the law and are believed to be responsible for the planning of the crimes. The top hierarchy is largely unknown, but rumor has it that the entire consortium is directed by only one powerful man or a small council of members from the noble class. Please don't notice the skull I stole. Shit. No. I mean this. Okay, good. Where are you going? This is not the best way to watch someone. Okay, you just sit there. I'm gonna read. Don't mind me. The city watch is effective against the gangs perpetrating the crimes, but due to Bridgeport's legislation, the higher-ranking members are out of the reach of the law. The planning of a crime is not a criminal offense. 
The consortium has a strict code, according to which members revealing their masters are severely punished and usually made as an example to detour other me members. Deter, deter, rather, not detour. But you probably should make a detour when trying to rat. <laughs> this code of honor makes it very difficult to track and bring the true mastermind. Shut up, I'm reading! Masterminds find the crimes to justice. Interrogation of the gang members are often futile because they do not know from whom they are receiving the orders. And often the thugs have simply been coerced into their activities. You know, like me. Just stay right there. Recommendation. Recent evidence indicates that the consortium has infiltrated and corrupted various strata of our society. Most notably the underclass. Certainly the guilds and possibly even the city watch itself. I personally believe the consortium is used as an extension of the politics of the noble class, but I have yet to find evidence of my claims. I recommend the Consul of Brit Consul, the Council of Shut up! I'm trying to read! No, seriously, dude? That's an odd noise. I move and you're dead. I was almost done. Alright. Let's finish this. I recommend the Council of Bridgeport take this matter in urgent consideration and seriously considers a change in legislation, which would make it possible to weed out the corruption and blah, blah, blah. Okay, good. Now let's grab this before he comes in. Knighton's letter. Shit. All right, I'm going to leave that there for now and go in here. All right. Now that we're back here... I should have enough time to read this. That is cool. Okay. Dear Lord Grayton, a bold move, I have to say, but I'm afraid you missed out your vulnerability in C6. F8 to B4. I'm eager to see your counter move. Accompanied with this letter, you will find my most recent version on the... Yeah, I hear you. On the Bridgeport crime. I would like to order 100 copies. Special courier should deliver the agreed payment of 500 gold during the next few days. Okay, so he's a copier. I'm not sure how my book will sell, but I need to submit a copy for the each for the each of the council members and the library, of course. Perhaps my work will make a difference. Who knows? To fight the new menace, people need to be aware of what's going on. I know you, my friend, are a collector, so please help yourself to a copy on my account. Enjoy. I trust your wife as well. Please send her my regards. Sorry he ever set foot here. I kind of already am. Alright, the, the patrol patterns for some of these people are very strange. They don't really seem very set. They're easy to avoid, to be fair, but they're just different from what I'm used to. Actually, um... The matter key? Yeah. No? Okay. Guess I'll have to pick the lock. How would he get in here? There we go. Much better. What the hell? What the hell? It literally brings them to life. Please don't tell me that that statue comes to life. Yeah, that looks really bad. Observation log, day zero. Brought the painting into the room. I'm trying to hear if he's coming down the stairs. Painting. Shit. Alright, I just need to be mobile and hopefully he'll get the hell out of here. Painting is medium-sized, oil on canvas, wood frame, the sips, or rather depicts, a peasant woman, subject unknown. Day three, some redness visible in the painting's eyes. Could be my mind playing tricks on me. Day four, certainly redness in the eyes. Day nine, red liquid is staining the painting. Smell and taste resembles blood. The book seems to have some sort of malevolent presence, which affects paintings depicting people. Statues are unaffected. Thank God. I'm going to refrain from studying the books until I know more. The effect appears to be limited to the same room. Day 15. 
Brought a bucket. We'll continue experiment to see if to see if others other effects appear. Perhaps I should simply destroy them. So that was the second experiment note that we hadn't found. So yeah, it's just bleeding from the eyes. Alright, let's save. Yeah, but they look so cracked. Are they just custom statues? Is that all that is? Huh. Alright, so there are pressure plates here. Does he have a way to turn it off? Did that turn it off? Let's find out. They are depressed. Origins of Kalk. Let's uh, read it. Origins of Kalk by unknown. Kalk. I've never heard of that. Translated by... Oh, it's translated. No wonder. Ferending Drago. The reality as we see it appears mundane, but in truth is far from it. This work is a treatise on Kalk, the, form, the formless, intangible material that lies at the boundary of our reality. It boils behind every wall and every door, and beyond it, a great void awaits to engulf forever those who are unwary. What lies beyond the veils of substance and geometry is perplexing and difficult to observe. Reader, be cautioned. Those who have stared into the abyss that lies beyond have lost their mind. Or worse. I don't think I can read any more of this. This is the translator's notes that he was talking about in one of his other notes. So. Yeah, that's the... <sighs> Everywhere I go. The Necronomicon by Abuel Alzard. Probably not. Translated by Unknown. The Necronomicon is one of the most notorious grimoires known to those interested in the arcane arts. I have dedicated my whole life to the translation, and now, when it is finally completed, I finally see everything clearly. The book is far too dangerous, and it has drained me and filled me with horrors. I cannot close my eyes anymore, lest they find me. I cannot bring myself to destroy my life's work, but I will hide it well. This chapter of terror will finally end when I throw myself down from the asylum roof, not only to save myself, but to save the humanity from the unspeakable. Or save all of humanity, rather. Let's read the book! <laughs> that sounds like a bad idea. All right, I need 2,000 worth. Oh, I forgot to leave the, um, the blackmail letter. I can do that on my way out. And it just exits through the coal chute that I came in. So I need money and... Um, yeah. I, there. Problems were had that day. All right. Got the books. I wonder if I have to get out of here before he comes back down. I don't know. We'll see. Open. that thing back up. Uh, get somewhere where I can save real quick. Alright. Uh, what do I have? Actually, why am I even looking at that? I have this for a reason. Actually, what is the blackmail note? We have your books! We're sure you want them back. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, you know, having his books, probably not a good idea. Just saying. Oh. You enjoy your reading, sir. I'm gonna leave now. And steal everything on my way down. You gonna come through or not? Uh, why are you coming so close? Sorry, Back up! Set foot here. Back up! There you go. I'll have to relight it later. Sit down. At least avert your eyes. Okay. Made that sound. Nothing. Nothing made that sound. Alright, there was this in the crown, right? Uh, hi, how you doing? Shit, no, don't light that back up! You coming up, buddy? Alright, I think he just went into his office. 
light it. All right, good. Come on. Okay, so far so good. It's 1690. I think I only need 2,000. Is there a light switch in here? No, it doesn't look like it. Shoot. Actually, let's save real quick right here. While I have room to maneuver. Damn it. This is tense, I gotta admit. Come on. Got it. All right. I just need to make it down to the coal chute and I'm done. They're gonna get alerted any second up there, but I should be good. Yeah, only need two water arrows. And done. Let's just wiggle our way back through here. Oh yeah. That was a good little mission, wow. Wow, where the hell is the rest of the loot? Bodies found by AI. Do they... I only had two bodies. Huh. No sightings at all. That's not bad. <laughs> That's probably one of the best stealth scores I've ever had. And, yep, that's the last one, unfortunately. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was coercion. That was a very good little map. Honestly, that was very well designed. It was very tightly designed. I have no idea where that other loot would have been, though. It's probably something that was simple and staring me in the face. But regardless, I had fun. Hopefully you had fun watching it. And I will be back with more Dark Mod. It just might take me a while. But anyways, this has been Boyalag, signing off. So I'm assuming this is the brothel. Yes, this is the brothel. It has themed rooms. What does this say? I'm sure this is official hammer top text. The Master Builder's Book of Perverted Tenants. Tenant 32. If thou hast been naughty, then thou shalt be spanked by the mistress of the builder. She will punish thee with the tools of the builder, and thou shalt not enjoy his day. Painful. <laughs> Very painful. <laughs>